Welcome back everybody. It was another cool day with below average temperatures, a little bit breezy out there as well. Temperatures this afternoon only into the low 60s up in Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz closer to the beaches 63, Watsonville 63 as well. Monterey Peninsula, a little bit on the chilly side as well. Look at Carmel, only 59 degrees today. Everybody else in the low 60s, even Carmel Valley, only 62 degrees. Big Sur topped out at 60. Down the Salinas Valley, 67 for Salinas, some low to mid 70s for the center part of the valley, and I uh, almost got to 80 degrees in King City today, 79 for you. And up in the Santa Clara Valley, mainly 60s out there today. San Jose topped out at 67, some uh, mid 60s all the way down the Santa Clara Valley down to Hollister, 66 degrees. Across the state, it was cool even in Southern California. Southern California only today topped out in the upper 60s, low 70s. If you needed some heat, you had to go to Vegas or you had to go to Palm Springs. Even in our Central Valley, 70s, 66 for Tahoe. A little bit of a ridge of high pressure to our north. So Redding, one of the warmer spots at 81 degrees across the country. 80s up in Seattle, same same ridge of high pressure that they're dealing with up in Northern California. We'll get a little piece of that later on uh, this weekend. 70s for Boise, 74 Denver. Then you get some more warmer weather as you head toward St. Louis, Dallas, 94 degrees and not bad in New York, 76 degrees. Storm reports over the last 24 hours. Want to draw your attention to the red dots. This actually just popped up here in the last uh, couple hours. So a tornado there, that's right on the border there of Indiana and Illinois. And then you also got a couple more out here. Look at out west up in uh, Wyoming and Colorado actually got a couple tornadoes. So that's where the severe weather was today. Moving forward, there's more potential for severe weather just south of the Great Lakes with this storm system right here. That could be severe over night tonight and through tomorrow. And then also this area of storms, the ones that brought the uh, tornadoes to Washington and Wyoming, those are going to move on to the plains overnight tonight. So the severe threat will transfer into uh, Nebraska, Kansas, maybe even South Dakota onto the plains. So that's where the severe weather will be. On to our weather. We're just dealing with the low clouds and that marine there. And here's the Salinas Valley, Skycam 8 Soledad. And there's the low clouds starting to push their way back down the Salinas Valley. So partly cloudy tonight, and then by overnight hours, we'll all be under those low clouds. Temperatures right now, Santa Cruz 63, upper 50s in Monterey. Here in Salinas, 62 degrees. Still a little bit of warmth up in San Jose, pushing a 70, 64 for you in Hollister. Winds anywhere from about 5 to about 15 miles per hour right now, but they're coming in off of the bay. That's our cool wind, especially with uh, cool water temperatures. I think they're now getting into the low 50s finally. The other thing we're dealing with and I've been talking about here is the big fog bank all the way up into the Pacific Northwest, all the way down to Southern California. So it is big. It's actually pretty deep, about 4,000 feet deep as of right now. Here's the high pressure ridge northern, nosing into uh, Northern California. California in the Pacific Northwest. For us, it means inland, we're going to see a warming trend here for the next couple days. And then, of course, at the coast, we're going to have the marine layer ebbing and flowing. So at the coast, you're not going to feel the warm up. Inland, you will, where we'll get back into the 80s there by the time we get into the latter half of the weekend and for your Memorial Day. And right now, Memorial Day is looking to be the nicest or at least the warmest day of the week. Low clouds will spread back inland overnight. They might even go over the Diablo range into the Central Valley. That's how deep the marine layer is. By tomorrow morning, all of us will be under the clouds and we could even see a little patchy fog, mist and drizzle as it pushes back to the coast by the afternoon. And of course, the sea breeze will take it back inland uh, Saturday night into Sunday. Forecast for tomorrow, if you're heading up to San Francisco, low 60s up there, upper 60s to low 70s right around the southern portion of the San Francisco Bay, down the uh, Santa Clara Valley, middle 70s for the most part, some low 70s, down the Salinas Valley, mid 60s for the northern half of the valley, mid 70s and even some upper 70s down toward King City, pushing a 79, 80 degrees there tomorrow. And then on the peninsula, again, just like what we saw today, low 60s for the most part there, the ebb and flow of the marine layer. Santa Cruz a little bit warmer up in the hills, some low 70s, closer to the beaches, 60s there. And here is your KSBW eight day forecast at the coast. Again, to 60 to 69 for tomorrow. Sunday, a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler at the coast on Monday. And then we'll look over toward North next weekend. We'll start to warm things back up here. Be a little bit more uh, clouds in the mix for the middle part of the week. And here's your eight day forecast for the inland areas. More pronounced warming and cooling. So we peak on Monday for your Labor Day, 88 degrees, and then cool it down for midweek. And then we ramp it back up as we look toward next weekend. Nice stuff. All right. Yeah. There you go. Nothing, nothing too major happening. Just the Which marine layer. Our, our, yeah. our summertime. Yeah. You know. well, yeah, we'll we'll take that. that. So. <laughs>